He is known for being a renowned writer who explored his family roots and identified as a Serb belonging to the Serbian literary tradition. Recognized for his membership in the Academy of Sciences and Arts of Bosnia and Herzegovina and the Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts, he made significant contributions to literature. His name is Mesa Selimovic. In the rich tapestry of literary history, one name stands out, Mesa Selimovic, a renowned writer of Bosnian Muslim origin. Selimovic delved into his family roots and discovered his connection to the Drabnjasi tribe, a group that identifies as both Serbs and Montenegrins. His exploration revealed that some members of his family converted to Islam to protect their Christian brethren. This complex heritage shaped Selimovic's perception of his identity, as he described himself as a Serb and an integral part of Serbian literature. Selimovic's autobiographical work, Shikanja, serves as a window into his Bosnian Muslim origins. Through his writing, he navigates the intricate layers of his identity, reflecting on the socio-historical context that influenced his self-perception. His memoirs merge with the cultural milieu, creating an imaginary discourse that highlights the cultural differences of Bosnian Muslims. Selimovic proudly identifies himself as a Muslim, firmly attached to his Bosnian and Muslim roots. However, Selimovic's revelation about his Christian heritage faced criticism from some Bosnian Muslim critics. They accused him of rationalizing his choice to associate himself with the Serbian literary circle by claiming an orthodox Christian lineage and later conversion to Islam. These critics labeled his portrayal of his family heritage as a constructed phantasm or an imaginary discourse, suggesting that his motives were driven by a desire for recognition within the Serbian literary community. Despite the controversy surrounding his identity, Selimovic remained steadfast in his convictions. He considered himself a Serbian writer of Muslim origin, emphasizing the threats his family received due to their non-Muslim names. These incidents compelled Selimovic to leave Sarajevo and establish himself in Belgrade, seeking a more accepting environment. Mesa Selimovic's life and writing serve as a testament to the complexities of identity and the power of literature to bridge cultural divides. His exploration of his heritage and his commitment to portraying the cultural differences of Bosnian Muslims in his work reaffirmed the enduring influence of his Bosnian Muslim identity. Selimovic's legacy reminds us of the importance of embracing our multifaceted backgrounds and the value of literature in fostering understanding among diverse communities. In the late stages of his life, Mesa Selimovic embarked on a new journey as a writer. It was not until he reached the age of 36 that his first short story was published in 1948. The publication of his debut book, a collection of short stories titled, Pravasita, followed in 1950 when he turned 40. However, it was his later works that truly showcased his literary prowess. Eleven years later, in 1961, Selimovic published, Tazine, his subsequent work. Although his following books, Tuta Zemelja, and, Magla I'm Jessicina, did not gain widespread recognition, it was his novel, Death and the Dervish, that catapulted him to literary acclaim. This masterpiece delves into the 18th century Sarajevo under Ottoman rule, drawing inspiration from Selimovic's personal anguish following the execution of his brother. The novel explores the futility of resistance against a repressive system and the transformative power it holds over an individual. Some critics even liken it to Kafka's, The Trial. Translated into multiple languages, including English, Russian, German, French, Italian, Turkish, and Arabic, it left a lasting impact on readers worldwide. Following the success of, Death and the Dervish, Selimovic's next novel, Tvrdava, delved further into the past. It offered a slightly more optimistic perspective and a profound belief in love, in contrast to the introspective and fearful tone of his previous work. Only, The Fortress and, Death and the Dervish, have been translated into English, leaving his subsequent novels, such as, Ostrovo, which portrays the challenges faced by an elderly couple on a Dalmatian island, and the posthumously published, Krug, untranslated. Aside from his fiction works, Selimovic also delved into other subjects. He wrote a book discussing Vuk Karadzic's orthographic reforms titled, Zai Prota Vuka, and penned his autobiography, Shikanja. Additionally, Selimovic's contributions to children's and youth literature in the Balkans between 1950 and 1980 were significant, earning him recognition as one of the pioneers in the field. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.